Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fucktotum Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for the House of the Dead remake. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel. Now, the House of the Dead remake was released on the 7th of April this year. And rather unsurprisingly, this is a remake of... Um, Time Crisis? No, actually, Bertram. This is in fact a remake of the House of the Dead. Oh! A game that is now older than all of the little bastards you'll find playing Call of Duty online these days. So, what the hell is the House of the Dead? Well, haha, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. Um, I didn't hear anything. Shut up, Bertram. Well, not only is The House of the Dead a fantastic video game movie directed by Yui Bull. <coughs> so sorry. I just threw up after saying that. Um, <clears throat> the House of the Dead is a popular series of light gun arcade games that feature guns, terrible voice acting, and lots of shooting. Not to mention that these games feature more grotesque abominations than you would find at my Parents house on Christmas. Oh, I like Christmas. I once asked Santa for a bike and I found Sharon Stone in my stocking that year. Oh, well, you should have been more specific with what kind of bike you wanted, Bertram. So, story. We play as a chap. And basically, this chap has come to the House of the Dead to stop an evil chap who has created zombies or some such nonsense. Just imagine the original Resident Evil. Strip out most of the story and the characters, including Barry Burton and his sexually arousing beard, add some Freddy Krueger looking bastards, and you'll pretty much have the House of the Dead. Um, I met Barry Burton at a convention once. Mm. He did indeed have a very sexually arousing beard. Oh um, yes, I think I remember the convention you're talking about, Bertram. But, um, <clears throat> no, that wasn't Barry Burton you met, Bertram. You see, Barry Burton is a video game character. Oh! You actually met Jeremy Beadle and his wonky hand. Um, do you think our viewers will even know who Jeremy Beadle is? Oh, who cares? I got to say the phrase, and his wonky hat. So I'm happy. What the hell was I doing before we... Oh yes, reviewing the House of the Dead remake. So, let's continue. <clears throat> Gameplay. Now, like I already said, this is an on-rail shooter slash light gun game. So... The gameplay essentially comes down to point the cursor at enemies and blow their bloody heads off with a series of firearms. You can also take 
different routes through some of the stages. And there is a boss fight at the end of the game's five levels. Um, five levels? That's short. Well, not necessarily, Bartram. For all you know, each level could take two hours to get through. Um, and do they? Well, um, no, actually. In fact, you can finish the whole game in about 30 minutes. But that's because, apart from a graphical update and a few extra features, this is fundamentally the same House of the Dead that released in 1997. Does that make this a bad game? Hello! I love these games with their awful voice acting and their lack of nudity. So I have no problem with how short the game is. But some of you bastards out there might have a problem spending £20 on a game that can take you less time to finish than it takes me to climb out of the bath these days. So make up your own mind. Do you like games like House of the Dead and Time Crisis? You do? Well then, buy this game. And if you don't like those types of games, uh, well, I was never going to convince you anyway, was I? No. So, therefore, I'm going to give the House of the Dead remake a 7. Point 2. Point 2. Point 5. Point 2. Point 5. Point 2. Out of ten. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for the House of the Dead remake. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to hit that like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. But... Remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Did I ever tell you, Bertram, that I once had an illicit affair with a zombie? Oh, no you did not. Well, we met in the local graveyard. And one thing just led to another, and... Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off! Be gone! Au revoir! A vie de Bye! What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!